Welcome back to Wigs Online School of History. Bring the tiger. Okay, that's not gonna work, but. Woo, I told you these videos were gonna be fun. Man, week five, that's what this video's uh, talking about. But uh, hopefully you've been logging on. Hopefully you've been doing what you're supposed to be doing. And, uh, I've been working on these to get these all ahead so that you guys can work ahead. Um, get down and do whatever you need to do. Um, I want to talk about week five real quick. It is dealing with civil rights. And we have, it, it's, a, it's a lengthy one. So it has the letter from Birmingham Jail. Okay. That is Martin Luther King Jr. got put in jail uh, during a uh, peaceful, nonviolent protest. And he is writing, surprisingly, he is writing on the edge, so the margins, margins of a newspaper and toilet paper, because he didn't have any, any paper. And uh, he's writing this letter in response to several, uh, let me see, it was eight, eight uh, white religious uh, leaders, so uh, pastors or preachers, um, and they had been making a public statement of why uh, Martin Luther King Jr. was supporting civil disobedience. Why would he support something like that when he is uh, a religious person himself? And um, would you know following rules and things like that, and so he is writing letters from Birmingham in response to those religious leaders, and um, it is crazy good. It's crazy to think that he wrote all of that, mo well most of it, on the margins of newspapers and toilet paper. Um, it's crazy to think. He, he didn't have a whole bunch of books. He didn't have the internet with him. He didn't have his cell phone, because there was none, to research and look this stuff up. This is off the top of his head. And it shows how intelligent, how smart, and just how um, um, he knew what his purpose in life was. And so just, just how in touch he was with that. Um, but it, it is lengthy. You've got to read through it. Um, I, I, I will post a audio of him actually reading it, which it's long, but it is, it's so good with his, his voice. Um, so you can listen to that if you have trouble reading. Um, it is higher level reading because he's such an educated man. Um, I... Of course, did my homework with you. You can see all the highlighting and my own side notes and the red and I mean, yeah, it's lengthy. But I did it with you. If I can do it, you guys can do it. Now, there are 11 questions that go with that, um, which I answered already myself. And... Um, what I did was I took uh, my computer and made, uh, I put the letter onto a word format so that you could look at it, but also so that I could help mark it for you. And so looking at that, let me get that glare out of here. Okay. Looking at that, I'm telling you what, that it was his response. Then I give you a little key that shows you. The, these numbers here, highlighted in red, is going to show you uh, where number one is or where number two is. You see, so you see that right there? This is where you're going to find number one. Okay, You'll find some more of it right here. You'll find part of number one and number two right there. Okay, So I did that throughout. There's number three. Three and five. Okay, Three. Oh, there's my 
the last right. I can't even see. Three, four, and five. Okay, so and that shows you that. Green is definitions, just some words that uh, might not make sense to you. I looked some of them up um, and kind of gave a, a definition just to help you speed things up. Um, I highlighted some of the the uh, answers. Though. It says four basic steps. I just kind of gave you a clue where it starts, and then there's some underlined parts of it. Facts, negotiating, self-purification. So I just helped you with that. And then the underlying part is just stuff to, to make sure that you read so that you can see some of the answer. Um, you need to read all through all the paragraphs so that that underlying part makes sense. But I went through this and helped you narrow it down um, to help speed things up and uh, just help you go through this. Okay? So that's that. I will. The questions are right here. That's the link um, to the audio part of it if you want to listen to it. Um, this is me warning you because this is what you're going to do. This, this is what's going to happen, fellas and ladies. Uh, you're going to wait till Sunday night to try to do this. Um, and it's too much. It, it, you've got to do two questions per day if you start this assignment that week that is due you gotta do two questions per day there's 11 questions and so and now that's doable okay of course you can do more if you want but um if you wait to do all 11 then you're going to just uh, skip it you you're going to scroll through it and go whoa too much gotta cheat uh need to email so and so that they can email me their answers uh which don't do that okay uh usually sends me an email also um, so don't cheat. There's no reason to cheat on it. Okay. I combined the eight points for the article reading and the 10 points for the primary source. So it's all together. So you're not doing two separate things. Okay. Normally you do like an article thing and the primary source and there's two separate, uh, assignments. This is one assignment. Okay. One thing that you have to turn in for those 18 points. Um, but that's where we're at. Uh, email me, get in contact if you need um, uh, help. Uh, some of you will. Um, you can email me, then we can get in contact if you need a, a, a live view as I talk you through some of it. Then we can set that up. And uh, there's Google Meet and Zoom and whatever else you just get in contact with me and then i can help set it up but that is where we're at uh for week five um hopefully everything's going well for you if not you got to talk to me your grade will go down if you're not doing these assignments okay so you have to talk to me <sighs> just communicate but that's where we're at okay that's where we're at so, uh, other than that, it's time to shut this bad boy down, okay? Oh, yeah, the eye of the tiger. That's how we roll up in here, right? Finish it out. Well, goodbye from Wigs Online School of History, making you smarter.